Hello friends, welcome back. So this is the OTA, official OTA update from you, Sinogen Mod 12. As you can see, this is the OTA update, which is of uh, 677 MB. And uh, after four days of the official launch, I got this. And uh, after downloading, you will be seeing this install update options. So before installing options, so before installing the update, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to copy this uh, update uh, in my SD card and transfer it to my PC as a backup. So we'll show you how to take a backup of this uh, OT update which is downloaded. After downloading, you will be seeing this uh, notification that the system is uh, uh, update, system update is ready. So let me give you a closer look. So the system update is ready, is the notification. And if you click that, you can uh, you are ready to go. So before doing that, I will tell you how to take a backup of this uh, official OTA update. So go to Play Store and install ES Explorer. It will take a minute or so, depending upon your speed. And after installing, open ES Explorer. So this is how the ES Explorer looks like and uh, so just check whether what's the exact file name of this uh, latest update uh, name and uh, type the same in the search bar for uh, ES Explorer and uh, it will uh, show up the exact file which you have downloaded. So just tap it uh, and uh, select it and after go to more and uh, select properties you will be finding its path. So go to the path and you will find the exact file which you have downloaded. Just uh, tap it and select it and uh, check its property and uh, check the file size. That is uh, the original file size was 677 MB but uh, this official file size is 645 that is close to 646 MB. I don't know what about the uh, uh, losses. So let's see that and uh, let's just copy this uh, update and uh, after copying this just tap the uh, options on the left side and you will find the SD card option and uh, paste it in the SD card. So just, just take a backup from your SD card to your PC and you are ready to go. So now I am going to quickly install the new update. So go to the notification bar and you will see this uh, option again and install update. So you are ready to go with the update. So the particular file which you have downloaded is in process and the installing update is going on. So it will take a while. So kindly sit back and relax. So after clicking that, it will restart your mobile which is showing the U logo and uh, it's powered by Android uh, logo at the bottom. So the package which you have downloaded is uh, Unwrapping it, unwrapping all the packages, and it will take a while. It will take around 10 minutes. I will be quickly forwarding this, and after that, it uh, reboots again. So, it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So, be patient and uh, hold on to your mobile. And after that, the new Cyanogen mode. Uh, logo will be appearing so let's take a closer look at the new logo this is the cyanogen logo so after this uh, showing up the cyanogen mode uh, logo there is a installation of update so after cyanogen mode logo you will be seeing this uh, android is upgrading uh, text will be appearing and uh, it will upgrade a step by step options you will find this the optimizing apps of 176 is the total apps so it will take some time so be patient and uh, stick around to it so the, your android is upgrading with uh, all this 176 apps so be patient it will take around uh, 40 to 50 minutes depends upon your uh, apps and uh, backup file size so no need to panic about that. So after completion of 176 uh, optimizing apps, the uh, starting apps will be appearing. 
with that the contacts database will be upgrading and uh, the boot will be finishing the boot it will finish the boot and uh, uh, get ready for uh, seeing the signage number 12 with the new options and uh, the complete installation took me about uh, 50 minutes so be sure that your uh, phone is completely charged with uh, more than 90 percent so after unpacking all the optimizing apps what it does is it won't uh, reboot again uh, it just show up a black screen so after touching it the main screen opens up and and uh, a blurry effect transparent layer at the top and the phone's completely locked out so i'm trying to double tap the phone just like before to uh, wake up the mobile but it's not uh, working for the first time so i'm using the power on and off button so to unlock the mobile so sliding up will unlock the mobile and uh, putting in the patterns the same pattern which i've used before is uh, automatically applied and uh, this is how the notifications uh, looks like each and every notifications with uh, particular toggles or uh, having the so have a deep look at that so what's the first thing after upgrading to cyanogen mode 12 you have to do is update your uh, google play services so it will take a uh, couple of steps for you to upgrade this Google Play service. So I am just upgrading the Google Play services. Maybe that may be the reason why the 677 MB original update has shown as 645 MB. So after upgrading the Google Play service, I've just rebooted my mobile and still i face the same problem so for a couple of times i rebooted my phone and uh, upgraded the google play service for two times and finally i fixed this so you have another option to show what are all the notification that is to be displayed on your lock screen so i don't have any other personal uh, notifications so i've just picked up the first one to display all possible notifications on the lock screen so the navigations look a little bit smoother and my first view but uh, the app drawer is uh, far more slower than before so do you know that this is the first time booting and this is the OTA update official OTA update I have done so even the notifications and uh, all other options are a little bit laggy which is not smoother at all uh, so do you know that uh, these uh, so the auto brightness option is not there so if you are turning out the brightness completely down it will uh, the display is completely going off so these are all the bugs which i have read in some forums so even i have faced the same problems so let's check that and uh, this is the only option uh, that is possible for you to making it uh, auto brightness or else you have to go to the settings options for uh, selecting adaptive brightness and uh, even the settings uh, after tapping the settings it will take a while to open up the settings menu so that's not good uh, for uh, lollipop update so let's give us give a time to settle down the lollipop update to settle down on the u eureka and see how the how it is looks like for as far as the first boot is concerned it is not as smoother as before so let's see which version of uh, android it is using it is using a lollipop 5.0 it is clearly mentioned that and uh, after that so the uh, signage mode 12 is the current version which we are using in this uh, latest update the signage mode 12 is the current update which we have updated let's see the closer look and uh, here's the signage mode game which we are coming from signage mode uh, itself so the signage mode uh, which is running on android 5.0 so the my pretty much first impressions with uh, so my first impressions with signage mode 12 is uh, not very good and it is a bit laggy than before so i will play with it uh, for the couple of days and will give you the perfect review in uh, two days
after upgrading to google play services the uh, smoothness of the phone is increased a little bit and after a couple of uh, boot apps uh, you can find that the processor uh, which is of 64 bit processor which is coping up with the lollipop update which is especially built for the 64 bit so for more videos like this do subscribe to our channel like us on facebook follow us on twitter if you have any questions ask us in the comment section below hope to see in my next video bye bye